Hi guys, so previous class, do you have any doubts in bootstrap? Starting, so in the last class, we discussed about the container and container fluid and grid, grid layout system. Then after that, headings, then display headings, then leave text. So up to, we discussed it, right? So the next one. 65.html so clearing all these things okay so as usual okay so as usual so i have placed the I have placed the, this bootstrap CDN and put a so script CDN. Okay. JS CDN. If it requires, we can use it or otherwise. So it's just set. Okay. So the next concept is mark text. So lead text we discuss it. Then after that, mark text. Okay. How we can having in mark text. So HTML, HTML 64.html, now 65.html, okay, so then inside of mark text we are having, right, so then the class equal to just mark, mark, so then first text, sample text, text for mark okay so we can use this span inside of this one so class equal to class equal to mark okay so then mark text okay so i am removing this one so we have a mark tag right so for mark text we have a mark tag mark okay now you can see so this is the mark text okay so the next one is abbreviation abbreviation so directly we can use abbr okay sample x ui okay so inside ui we are having the title called user interface okay so this is abbreviation so then now you can see it when we hover on this one so we will get that so now it is not getting yes user interface okay so this way we can use the abbreviations so the next one <coughs> Black coach, black coat. So all these things we discussed in HTML. Black coat. So so HTML. Okay. So under that, so HTML hypertext markup language okay so then class equal to class equal to block coach so this is the bootstrap class block coach see now so this is the bootstrap class clear this is the block coach so the next one is the figure and figure caption. So we are having figure and figure caption we are having. So before that one, so we can see the this block code, how we can uh, display this block code. Okay, so either text starts, text end, and text center, we are having three, we are having three classes. So one is,
okay so where is this one so before that one so we have a div class div called so class equal to so text start no need to give so by default by default it is appearing all the html html element from text to start only text to start means left side okay so the next another one is text end text end means right side okay and this is the end so another one is text another one is text center this means so we can display this thing in the center okay so this is the way we can display the either text classes or block quotes so block quotes so compared to our normal paragraph it looks so bit small okay it looks bit sorry bit larger compared to paragraph text okay so this is a font size and margin bottom it is showing one one rem that is means so 16 pixel it is showing one rem okay so this is the black code text okay so then inside of we are having the another text another another text called black code footer black code footer we'll see so this is the black code so inside next one black code class equal to black quote hyphen put so inside we can place hypertext markup line okay so this way we can display so for which purpose we are showing this one so if any if any testimonials i mean user reviews so that related things if we want to place in website so then we can place it okay so this is the information and this is the author name who writes our reviews okay so for that purpose we can use this type of things okay so the next one is next one is figure okay so for figure we are here we are we can use the two type of things so inside figure we can place the image and also if you want to display the image caption so then we can use the figure caption all right we can use the figure caption right so then we can use it so then after that we are having the figure so then inside we are having the img src so same how we write inside of html so same thing we can write here then images slash bg dot jpg okay so then um, alt tag we can use so then banner image banner image okay so then after that figure caption okay so my banner text so you know so this way we can display so if we can display instead of this one if we can display the paragraph so that looks different right so that's why we are using the paragraph okay see okay some spacings are coming all right so this is the way so we can place the we can place the figure so the next one is the list next one is the uh, list so we are having the two type of list basically so maximum we can use the two type of list right so we can use the two type of list where is this so first one is the a list unstyled and a list in in line okay sorry order list and an order list we are having the two type of list right so one is order list and an order a list just give me a second okay 
order list and an order list we are having the two type of a uh, list right so then for list so we can use pass or we completed the center so here we are not completed the center so that's why we are getting like this so then they will close okay so then after that we are having the first another list for ul okay for another list we can use the ul so inside we can we are having the list list one so then list two list three and list four two three and four for list we are having the list okay list unstyled unstyled means if you want to remove the so by default how it comes you know so by default this is our list why this is coming outside so here is a text center div so that's why it is coming outside okay now you can see why why this much okay okay this is in row right so this is in the divin container inside so that's why we are getting like this okay no worries so this is the by default list so if you can use the class equal to list unstyled so then by de by default whatever bullets is coming so then those things we can remove it okay so this is the list right Here we are not closing the div. From here we are not closing the div. So this is figure. So this is div is closed. The block coach and the block coach. This one also closed. Div center closed. Div exchange closed. So then figure closed. Then this one is closed. here we are having the text to center so that's why we are getting it. okay so this is the list unstyled so by default so by default so if we can remove by default list we can able to see okay so this is by default list so this is unstyled list okay so the next one we are having the list in style list in style okay so we can see list in line so same list so if you can place the list in line so it will come side by side this list will display side by side right in line list in line only we used That is our class name list in line. List on style URL. It is not coming list in line, but here it is coming. Okay, so inside we have to use the another class called list item in line class equal to. So for each and every line, so each and every ally we have to use so this class. Okay, class list inline item. A list inline item we have to use it. Then we will get side by side. Okay. Now we will get the side by side. Okay, so these are the 
two type of list we are having. So the next one we are having the another another list type called a descriptive list. A descriptive a list. So what is the descriptive list? HTML elements, DL inside DT. This is the descriptive title. So the next one, DD. DD means descriptive description. Okay. So these are the by default. Here it is. Okay. So this is the descriptive list we are having. Okay. For horizontal descriptive list. For horizontal descriptive list by default, we have to use the we have to use the columns. CYL iPhone CLG R M D iPhone 2 class equal to class equal to so the next one for all details for DD we have to use the head. For DD, we have to use the pen. Pen. Okay. So then now we will get the side by side. So this is our. Pen. It's not coming well. Above when we use this one, above we have to use the class equal to a row. So when we use when we use any call related thing, so compulsory we have to use the row. So without row, it is not sure. It is not applying that. Okay. Okay, now you can see this is the title, so then description, title and description. Okay, so this way we can show the horizontal descriptive a list. Okay, so the next one is next one is code. So same thing as usual. So how we can use instead of HTML elements, same thing we are using here. So code block. code block so sample output okay so okay so this way we can able to see the command line output right so the next one is keyboard input keyboard input for keyboard input kbd we can use it kbd we can use right so what is that one Control S CTL plus yes for saving the file, right? This way you will get for keyboard keyboard input sorry keyboard HTML element. So the next one pre and variable and sample text. Next one is the pre. Okay, so how we can create the text? So same thing we will get. Okay, so welcome to UI training. Okay, so in this we are having HTML, comma CSS, comma JavaScript, comma jQuery, comma 
Reacts.js. Right? So this is the pre-text. Okay. So the next one is next one is available to display the formulas. Available to display the formulas. So where where keyword where is the HTML element where e equal to mc square right mc square is super two okay so something curvy we can able to see those formulas okay so the next one is the sample text paragraph welcome to ui signing and it is a combination of sample html comma css comma javascript comma jquery comma or react js okay so this way we can display the sample text see this is the normal paragraph this is the sample text it will have only some thick color okay clear so this is the basic basic classes okay so basic classes we have to know these things okay so the next concept is next concept is bootstrap tables bootstrap <coughs> sorry bootstrap tables you can see you can create another one so 66 dot html so removing all these course so from div container onwards Okay, or remove. So just we are having the so basic CSS bootstrap tables. Okay. Okay, bootstrap tables. So now we can see first we have to create a table, right? So table close table inside table we are having the t body t head okay t head so then inside t head we are having the tr so inside tr we are having the th th means table head okay so serial number so then next th is name so the next one is th email th phone okay so the next th status status is active or not active okay so then after the t body we are having the T head after T head we are having the T body okay so inside T body we are having the table data TR okay so TD so first one is a one and second one is a TD name right Teja so the next one TD so Teja at mail.com TD so zero one two three four five six seven okay so the next one is status td active active okay so this way we are having so multiple things okay so 
في فو اند فاي اوكي نو ذس از ماي ديفولت تيبل اوكي 66 اوكي سو وذاوت اني كلاسز ابلاين ذس از ماي بوت سترب تيبل سو فرست ون از ذا so table so for table there is no classes there is no default designs for this one so by default we have to use the table class by default we have to use the table class so where is that one so for table we can use it for this one class equal to table we have to use it now you can see this is my table after using the bootstrap class okay after using the bootstrap class i just use the table class okay so for a basic table uh, with lightly padded cells and horizontal dividers apply the bootstrap table class okay just you have to know what are the classes we are going to use using the bootstrap that's it so all the bootstrap all the classes are interrelated and correlated with the elements only now we are using the table so that's why they are use they are giving the table class then after that table dark table dark is the another class so if you want to apply the background color dark table i find dark okay see now this is the table dark so we are having the some contextual classes for for backgrounds or something okay for suppose if you can use the success you will get all these classes okay so table tbl hyphen success this is the success background color so if you we are having the different contextual classes success then warnings warning then this is a warning so then we are having the danger okay so this is the danger class okay so we are having the info okay so this is the info so this way we can apply the we can apply the contextual classes okay so the next one so strip tables so for alternative background colors on the rows stripped table means alternative background colors okay so then we have to use the table hyphen stripped table hyphen stripped we can use it now you can see okay so these are the alternative class alternative colors okay the next one so table border so now so if you can observe so there is no top border there is no top border and column border so if you can apply the tbl hyphen border tbl hyphen border <coughs> then see okay now we are having the table border so why it is not able to see because of we are used this one okay now you can see okay so this is the border okay clear so this is the table border so total how many we are having so basic we have to use the table class so then after that contextual classes we are having multiple so then table hyphen dark table hyphen success table hyphen warning table hyphen danger table hyphen info these are the contextual classes so then after that strip table so for each row we if we want to alternate color so then we have to use the table hyphen strip okay so if you want to display the complete borders we have to use the table hyphen border class okay <clears throat> so the next one so hover rows Hover us when we hover on that one, so it will be highlighted. So then now we can see table hyphen table hyphen hover. Okay, now you can see it clear. So previous 
before we don't have that option okay so when i hover on that one so nothing is happening so when i apply this class table over so then is highlighting right is highlighting clear so then next next one small and condensed small and condensed okay so small and condensed means so here we are having this some basic some basic padding and spacing right some basic padding and spacing so if you want to remove that one so so then we can use the class called table iphone sm table iphone sm now you are able to see see now so there is no spacings for data and border for data and border so then so we can able to see if we are having the lg also so by default md it is displaying so if you are having the lg then we will get more space between the data and border no okay so there is no lg so this is by default md only so there is no lg okay so this is the table small and condensed table so if you find the table has too much padding then you can half the padding by using the bootstrap table if an sm class okay then after that contextual class classes i said previous so contextual classes table active okay table active so so we can use it here so class equal to table active so then for this one class equal to table table danger okay so same thing we can apply for this one also class equal to table iphon info okay active danger so this one we are having the class equal to table iphon success now you can see okay so this way we can add the contextual classes for either entire table we can apply it or we can apply same thing to so table cells also okay trs also we can apply tds also we can apply so these are the contextual classes table active table success table info table warning table danger okay so these are the contextual classes so the next one is very important table responsive okay responsive tables automatically create the horizontal scroll bars now if you can see so if you can open this one see for suppose if you are having the more data if you are having the more data see so this is overflow the content content is overflow right right so then so for this time so we have to apply the horizontal things right so then for suppose in this we are having another okay so in this so we are having few more things okay i have so i can create another table creating another table for suppose i have only few things up to two only i have okay i remove so then in this i have more more columns okay i have 12 columns so then here also i have 12 table data cells okay now if you can see see we will get the 
horizontal horizontal scroll bar for entire screen for entire screens we are able to horizontal okay you know we are getting the entire screen okay so no i don't want to display for entire screen i want to display scroll bars for only this table so at that time so we have to create a one div for this one div and class equal to table hyphen response okay before table i am giving one div okay so then after closing i am closing this div the class is correct or not i am checking table hyphen responsive okay so now you can see so now you can see so we are getting this scroll bar here okay for only this table we are getting so if you want to give this one so if you want to give this class so then we will get like this for entire screen we can get okay for entire screen so now so this is why the empty spaces are happening okay so that's why we can give for only that specific table only we can give the table responsive class so then only you will get this scroll bar for only this table okay so this is the final table class okay